Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to upload multiple files with multi S3 AWS S3 bucket in Node.js SQLize. So here we are using the SQLize to upload the files into the database and same as the S3 bucket. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. The packages that we require for this to work, that is Express, Multa, Multa S3, AWS, SDK, SQLize and .env basically for the configurations file. So currently I'm not using that one. So you can skip that part also. So port, the, on which port you want to run this project, you can mention it over here. So configure the AWS SDK credentials over here, like SSKID, secret SSK and the region, all of these details, you have to go with my previous videos and you will get to know how to get the SSK, secret SSK and the region. Next, we, here we are going to set up with our database configuration. So here we have a new SQLized SDP, phpMyAdmin, my password, localhost dialect and the MySQL. Here now we have them defining a model storing the file information, so this we are have the file information, file name and the URL. If I go and check here, the information shows structure that we have a ID, file name, URL and created and updated that. So it's created by default. So when you run this code, so automatically this table is automatically created and this structure is automatically created. So don't worry about that. So you need to just define a model for storing the file information. Next, we have initialized the S3. Okay, then set up the multer and the multer S3 file uploads. So here we have the bucket name, public read, right? Now we have the key and how the file is gonna be updated. Next, we have the create the endpoint for the file upload. So we are doing the multiple files, approximate file, five files we can upload. So we have an endpoint upload. Okay, so here we have the handle the database operations with the SQLize. So this is the that one. Okay, so we are mapping that one and just we are pushing that into the database. Okay, so here file dot create. Correct. The S3 URL of the uploaded file we are mentioning over here. Then we are sending the status that uh, if it is uploaded, then files uploaded, file records, else it will throw any error will occur. Okay, the next one that we have sync the SQLized model with the database. So you have to mention the SQLized dot sync then and in which port it will going to be listened. Okay, complete. Let's take a look of the demo. Then here we have to go with the upload files. Okay, so here I'm going to just send it again and pretty send. Okay, so the files are uploaded and these are the file names created and updated. Ad. If I go to the database again, here the select data. So all files are updated over here. And if I go to the S3 bucket and there is currently no images fold over here and you can just reload it. And you will get all the files details over here. So these are the files which we have updated, right? And the database also get into that one. Okay. So this is how you are able to upload the multiple images to the S3 with the help of the SQLize. Okay. So any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.